Catherine, I hear you've got a bit of a woeful story you want to share with all of us. Yes, I have. Um, um, I, I've been trying to get to the hospital for an X-ray. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, no, Catherine, fire oh, away. Sorry, I've been trying to get to the hospital last year for an X-ray, a chest X-ray. I knew something wasn't right. I don't smoke or nothing. Eventually, I was sent by a lady doctor, and my, my own GP wouldn't send me, and they found out I had stage 4 cancer in both lungs. Catherine, what? You waited how long for a chest X-ray? I Seven months. Seven I months? Would, they wouldn't take him in to have X-rays Why? The, at the local hospital. They were locked down then last year, before oh, while all this was going on. And, and what were they saying to you? Were you, were you, oh, you, my, you I was told by my GP, it's chest infection, chest infection, chest infection, and I knew it was months. more than that. Anyway, eventually I got stage 4 cancer. I'm on palliative care now, my darling. And I'm so cross, but I'm not really worried about myself. My, my, um, in my family, there's prostate cancer. I got one son. He's been to six different hospitals since 2015. And they've just, they, after me, they found out that he'd prostate cancer. He was 51 yesterday. 51, oh, and, oh well, you know, one of those things. And that's the same surgery. Can and I am so cross because when I, as you can tell, I'm, I'm Irish. I came here when I was 17 years old. I'm 79 now. I worked in mental health and I worked in dementia in, in nursing homes. I've retired now. And I'm, I'm, so, I'm actually so cross. I don't allow smoke in my house. I don't drink. And that's, that's how it is at the minute. There's no, there's no going back for me. And I don't know about myself. Catherine, I really, there, there are no, no. words to say. That, honestly, I... The reason I'm saying it, there was an oncologist on there a while ago. I don't have a smartphone. I know nothing about a smartphone. And I wouldn't go to my GP because we, in Ireland, you have to pay, as you well know, insurance and all this jazz in the Republic of Ireland. If I went home to Ireland, I had to pay for my medical care because I've been here since I was 16. I wasn't quite 17. I, there are absolutely no words I can yeah. say, Catherine. I think what's I, happened to you is just yeah, utterly, yeah. utterly yeah. heartbreaking. I mean, I mean, I know that the doctor's busy. I'm not saying that. Oh, GP, I've been with him for 46 years. I was with his dad. And when we came here, there were seven GPs. There's only one now. He does two days a week and he does the rest private. And the ladies at the desk are diagnosing you when you go in. That's seven all I can months. say, darling. Seven, seven months. Yeah. I mean, is that is that are you taking your GP to court? Are you pursuing oh, no, no, just no, I don't. what's the I'm not, point? No, what, what, it's not going to give me back my life. That it's not. I, that, that's not what it's all about. That's not what it's all about at all. The care when I came here, the care that pe that the doctors and nurses had for people then is not the care today. They take your your age into account, how much it's going to cost, and I believe all that. Yeah. Your family must be devastated. Yeah, I, I'm devastated myself, darling. I brought up three small children. He, um, uh, my son is 51. Yeah, he was yesterday, his birthday. And my husband is dead 50 years in January. He was one year old when I brought three kids. And I walked, I walked. I don't expect nothing from a country because this is a good country. That's why I'm here. There was no work for us in Ireland, darling, in the 60s. And, the, you know, back then. And I do, I'm do. i grateful for that. But I walked for everything I ever got, my darling. Catherine, and, I just, I just want to give you a hug. To me, right? I just, oh. You know, I was. There's, there's, it, there's far more to come out of this. You wait and see other people as well that can get in. Catherine, yeah. I just, I yeah. mean, thank you so much for doing, for calling you're doing in. A wonderful job. You're doing a wonderful job. You're highlighting people's frustration because there's nowhere else to go. You are doing that, oh. Catherine. You are oh, doing okay. that because well. you're at the sharp end. And what's yeah. happened to you is oh, utterly yeah. criminal. It's criminal yeah. negligence. This and is. Thank you. I know, but. As I say, I don't believe in it. It, it. it won't bring me back, darling. It won't make me stay here any longer. Oh, Catherine, you're amazing. You're God absolutely you, amazing. And thank you very much for your time and the listening. Thank you. And, you know, take care. Spend yeah, all of your precious program. moments with your family. You're, you're an you incredible much. woman. Yeah, bye-bye, darling. Bye. Gosh. Can, I mean, seriously, people listening to that, that's actually made me want to cry a bit because I just think if that was my mum, they would just... I mean, can you imagine?